When conducting a quantitative research investigation with an intervention, the procedures section needs to outline how you plan to address treatment fidelity or integrity. For ensuring that the independent variable is accurately manipulated or the intervention is accurately employed is critical for two reasons. Number one, it increases the confidence about the integrity of the study. And number two, it increases the ability to interpret the research results. This is Dr. Amanda rackinson Zapku, and this is a tutorial on treatment fidelity. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss ways that you can ensure the fidelity of your treatment or intervention. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll understand the concept of treatment fidelity and be able to develop or construct a narrative for the procedures section that addresses it. Now, there are a number of ways to ensure fidelity. However, one of my favorites is something called manipulation checks. The integrity of the manipulation or the implementation of the intervention is often assessed by determining what effect the independent variable had on the dependent variable. An additional, an additional data can be collected via the use of these manipulation checks to ensure that the treatment or intervention is having the effect. In other words, to ensure the integrity of your study. Checks can be used to assess treatment fidelity. For example, was the treatment implemented as it was intended to be implemented? But they can also be useful for something called treatment differentiation. When a treatment is implemented across different dimensions or in different classes, it can make sh you can make use them to make sure that it was implemented in the same manner. So for example, let's say that you're implementing a treatment across three different classes, you can check to make sure that the implementation of the treatment was consistent in every class. And if you have one or two control groups, you can make sure that there wasn't any diffusion in treatment by doing manipulation checks. Now the type of manipulation checks that you use depends on the type of manipulation and inter intervention that you're doing. Let's go ahead and talk about a few different types. Now the manipulation checks listed in this table here are those that are outlined by Kasdan in his 2003 research text. Let's talk about a few of these. First of all, you can use self-report measures. This is a survey basically with open-ended questions, true-false questions, multiple choice questions that assesses the treatment from the participant's perspective, how they understood, remember the treatment. So you may ask questions such as, was the instruction the experimenter or the uh, teacher gave you, was it done at the beginning of the study? Or describe the information that you received during the study. Or did you receive X, Y, and Z six, six times, true or false? So you can do self-report measures. You can, have, um, you can also have direct observation. So you, as the researcher, can go into the classroom or into the, to the area that the treatment in, or intervention is being implemented, and you can observe what is actually being done. If it's in an online class, you could actually ask for access to the online class or the online tutorials or the online instruction to see how it's being implemented. So there's that idea of direct observation. You can also ask for self-report from the individuals actually implementing the treatment to explain how they implement the, the treatment. And as I sort of already suggested, there's analysis of documents after the implementation of a specific treatment. These are just a few ways that you can do manipulation checks. Now, because the breakdown of treatment integrity or fidelity is one of the greatest dangers in intervention research, you can perform not only manipulation checks to ensure the integrity or fidelity of a treatment or intervention, you can also take steps prior to the study to ensure treatment fidelity. Let's talk a little bit about this. These steps taken prior to the study to ensure its integrity can include a number of things. First, you can provide a treatment manual outlining the treatment procedures for the individuals implementing the treatment. You could provide a training session or sessions for them. Or you can provide, and or I should say, you can provide supervision or consultation during the implementation of the treatment or the intervention. Now these steps taken prior to the study or manipulation checks need to be documented in the procedures section of your quantitative research plan or proposal. This is really important because it ensures 
the fact that you have taken steps necessary to increase the fidelity or the integrity of your treatment. So now that you understand treatment fidelity, you can go ahead and start planning how you're going to include it in your study, especially if you're doing an intervention study, and, how, and you can write your narrative in your procedure section.